Hey everyone, I'm Nico from Licks of the Beast. If you're a fan of the dual guitar work of Dave Murray and Adrian Smith, I think you're really gonna like this video. Few would argue that Adrian and Dave were among the absolute best heavy metal guitar duos of the 1980s. In general, the reasons for this are quite obvious. They had two very distinct playing styles and sounds, they played many memorable guitar harmonies on every album, their solos were incredible and complemented one another extremely well, and they did that thing on Hollowed Be Thy Name where they would each stand on risers on the opposite sides of the drums for the harmony riff before the ending. Nothing is cooler than that. But there is one other thing that always stood out to me. And when I think about it, I find it really odd that I have never heard anyone talk about this before. And that is how Dave and Adrian often mirrored one of each other's licks in their solos, so that the second solo would have a lick that was a callback to the first solo. This gave Iron Maiden's solo sections a particular sense of continuity that is surprisingly uncommon to most dual lead guitar teams. So if this is something you've always kind of noticed but weren't really sure that that was what was going on, this video might confirm what you knew all along. If you've never even thought about this before, the following examples I'm going to break down for you might just blow your mind. The first example I have for you is from their ultra-iconic opener, Aces High. Towards the end of his solo, Dave plays a fast legato pedal point lick that goes something like this. So we're in the key of A minor, and the lick is a repeated motif where he picks a C, which is the third, pulls off to A, the root, then to the pedal point, which in this case is the open E, and then we do the same thing but starting on the note B, which is the second. So the entire pattern is C, A, E, B, A, E, or third root pedal, second root pedal. Adrian starts his solo with a very similar legato lick. They've modulated to the key of B minor for the second solo, and Adrian opens with this very cool lick here. Now, the similarities might not be immediately apparent due to the different articulation of the two licks, so let's take a closer look at which notes Adrian is actually playing by playing them with the same articulation as Dave's lick, all on the same string. So we have a D, which is the third, followed by a B, the root, then we play the B pedal point, then the D again, then the C sharp, which is the second, open B pedal, back to the D, root B again, and then the pedal note. So all together, it looks like this. So here is Dave's lick one more time. And Adrian's if he were to use the same articulation. So you can see how the licks are quite similar in principle. The second example I want to look at is from Caught Somewhere in Time. Dave takes the first solo in the key of D minor, and about halfway through he plays this palm muted ascending run based on the Aeolian mode. Adrian mirrors that lick in his own solo, also around the halfway point. Like Dave, Adrian's ascending run is based on the Aeolian mode, this time in the key of E minor. But he also throws in a C sharp from the Dorian mode to keep your ears interested. And again here you can see how they are very similar runs even though their solos are quite different overall and are easy distinguishable from one another. Here's a cool example from Flight of Icarus. Again, Dave takes the first solo, and his second last lick starts with a bend and release pattern like this. 
which is exactly how Adrian chooses to start his own solo shortly after. It's almost the same lick in the same key, only one step lower. The last example I'm going to give you is from their live solos in The Number of the Beast. Dave's solo ends with a tremolo-picked ascending pattern that goes kind of like this. Adrian's solo ends in a very similar way. This one is especially cool because neither of their original solos actually end this way. On the album version, Dave ends his solo with this lick here. And Adrian's ends like this. So Dave was already playing the tremolo picked ending on the Peace of Mind tour in 1983. And it seems that Adrian started to close his solo with a similar lick on the following tour supporting the Power Slave album. It would be really cool to get Dave and Adrian's thoughts on this and ask them whether or not this was something they purposely worked out or if it's something that would just happen naturally due to their close longtime friendship and ingrained familiarity with each other's guitar playing. That's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it maybe give you a new reason to go back to those 80s albums and have a closer listen. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments section. Don't forget to leave a like and do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more licks of the beast.